people. Uh, I'm here to talk to you about bar ends. And we have a new bar end product. And they're called Chim Chims, which is a character from the Speed Racer show, which uh, I grew up in a car family and I loved it. Loved that show. Although now watching it as an adult, it's a little strange. Um, the first thing I want to get this clear right away. This is Chim Chim. This is not your dad's bar end. This is not Shit, they just broke. <laughs> oh wow. They're only about 40 years old. Okay. Do you want to start over? Keep going. Just keep going. There we go. Okay. It's not like, you know. It's John Tomac, and he's got those newfangled ends of bar ends, and he's getting all that leverage, and oh no! Here comes, here comes, uh, what's his name? Here comes Insane Wayne Crosdale on the on his tail, and he's getting this, is like, this whole advantage of, like, cool leverage, and oh no! And here comes some other guy from the 80s, and they're dancing on the pedals! It's not like that at all. Uh, what it is about is this. My vintage Oakley's broke doing that take. What it is about is... I have been on this bike for five and a half hours. And I make my living with my hands. And they're already worked. And now... What? I can barely like... Pull them off the handlebar and they're frozen like this. So, what it's about is... Uh, you just rotate out here. It's all about comfort. It's like uh, this nice ball is a great place to put the palm of your hand and it starts to stimulate different nerves than here and different muscles and blood vessels and so blood can get to those joints that are all frozen up. It's all about comfort. These are made for comfort, not for speed. Um, they have a lovely shape. Many jokes can be made about the shape, so that is fine. Uh, they're real easy to put on. There's a logo here that can be up or down. There's a right and a left. The angle is 15 degrees, so they'll work, work with almost all bars that are uh, flat bars that are not radically swept back. Got stainless steel T25 hardware on here. Um, one thing we did do is we put in a secret compartment here and we'll get a better shot of this but it's got some nice finger touchy knobby knobby things on the outside it's got an o-ring black can't really see it because it's black so this is a watertight compartment the o-ring will keep this on because it adds a little friction but you might want to use your uh, t25 in there for a longer ride just make sure you don't lose it as you're zoning out now you can put all kinds of things in there and it's waterproof. One thing you can put in is matches. Now the large box of kitchen matches, those will not fit in here, but this grocery store, 425 or something like that. So each box is like 45 cents. You unwind the top, include this, roll it up with the strikers, put probably fit about 13 matches in there and then when you're in Moab in 1997 like I was and you're coming back from Gemini Bridges and you get lost and it gets dark and it gets really scary and then it starts getting really cold, uh, you're not as freaked out because you have some matches in your bar end. So these are the matches right here that uh, we want to buy to fit into our bar ends. They come in a pack of 10 like this at the grocery store. By the way, Diamond Match Company started in Chico. Uh, and all the wood for the matches came from just up the road in the forest up there in the, in the Sierras. Uh, these large kitchen matches, these will not fit. These are too long. They're too big. These are the perfect ones. What you do to prep is you drop half of them into the dune buggy gasoline nozzle hole. Uh, take this, tear this up, and 
bolt it so the striker is on the inside. Put that over or tear it off. Uh, and take your matches somewhere between 10 and 15. Hold them in there. This slides into the bar end, which is watertight. So here we're going to uh, loosen that up. Uh, with the T25 or you can turn with your fingers if it's not super tight. It's got an O-ring there. Keeps the secret compartment waterproof. Um, gonna have to bend these a little bit. This is our strikers, both strikers folded so they're both protected by cardboard. They're not gonna be rubbing on the aluminum or the match ends. Which that might turn out to be exciting at some point. Uh, stuff matches in there. Looks like about 13 matches. Let's get this back on. You're good to go. You can use your imagination for the other side. So these are in stock. Uh, we've got them in silver, uh, black. I don't think we have any polished right now, but they will be available on polished, possibly purple, most probably purple, which will be pretty dang cool. Uh, on our website or from your local bike shop or uh, quality bike parts distributor. Uh, and if you try them, I think you're going to really like them. Uh, oh, one other thing I forgot. Actually, when climbing, this action, you know, when you've got the slow gait going and you're just sort of walking the bike up the hill, you're like, boom, boom, boom. Oh my God, this hill's going on forever. When will it ever stop? This is like the hill from Forest Ranch to uh, Butte Meadows. Just goes on and on and on. Um, so you cannot have to grip so hard and these kind of rotate in your palms and it's actually uh, real nice to climb with these. All right. Uh, bye bye TV land. That's wrong something, isn't it? <laughs> That's some goofy. <laughs> I don't know.